pipe bomb. There's been a lot of discussion over this next story. In fact, some don't think it's a story at all. We're talking about a convicted felon who's getting a lot of attention. This is Jeremy Meeks. He was arrested yesterday and famous on social media today because of his looks. This guy has 100,000 likes on his mugshot. What is it about criminals that are so sexy? Oh, Nigga, you gay. It's all the heat and the she's threat. Put some handcuffs on you God, and violate your body. Bound up by them. What? Do you know who Jeremy Meeks is? No, I don't. Oh, yeah, I've seen this guy. Okay. Oh, yuck. Wow, damn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A bunch of people were freaking out about him on Facebook. People photoshopped him up and put him in Calvin Klein suits yeah. and everything. It was yeah, crazy. I mean, just be like re really, really, really ridiculously good looking. <laughs> For a being a, a criminal, uh, he's a handsome guy. What? Nigga, you gay. Yeah, I've seen the photo. How sexually attracted are you to him? Uh, zero percent. Oh, I've seen that picture. Oh. What do you think of that picture? Oh, those eyes. I like blue. <laughs> <laughs> those eyes are a crime. He looks like a movie star. He's gorgeous. What would you do if he wasn't in prison to those eyes? Oh, I don't think I could say on <laughs> I like his tattoo here. You like the teardrop tattoo? Yeah, it's cool. Isn't that a sign of sexiness? You, you know that you've murdered somebody? That is proof that he has killed a bitch. <laughs> Would you eat spaghetti and meatballs with this guy? Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe. You're a fan. Did you like him on Facebook? Um, yeah, I have to admit I liked him. He's pretty hot. <laughs> he's a bad boy, you know? That's what I'm into. You are stupid. Why do you think he's in jail? I have no idea. He looks so innocent. What? The Stockton Police Department arrested several gang members in a roundup and posted their mug shots to Facebook. What they weren't expecting was Jeremy's mug to become famous. News 10's Nick Monticelli talked to Meeks in jail. And they found a pistol in my trunk. Stockton police arrested four yesterday in a gang roundup. It was great police work, but the only attention police are getting is on their Facebook page for Jeremy Meeks. I just visited my wife and she said that I like blew up all over Facebook. All over Facebook and all over the world. On Stockton's page, more than 24,000 likes and more than 6,000 comments. Vanessa Vieira writing, if this guy broke into my house, I'd make him forget why he broke in within 30 seconds. Laugh out loud. What? Lady Santiago, I'd got 50 shades on that man. Oh, God, yes. What? TMZ has jumped on the hot convict bandwagon as well as media outlets nationwide. But not everyone agrees. For instance, Lisa McAllister says criminals aren't sexy. Real men work and ladies don't fawn over criminal trash. Have some self respect. Thank you. The criminal himself didn't know why he was so popular until I told him. Well, I appreciate that, but I just want them to know that this is really not me. Like, I'm not some kingpin. And that is the only reason Meeks agreed to the interview, to tell people his side of the story, saying even though he's being charged with street terrorism, he is no longer a gangster. The Stockton Police Department has also noticed what's happening online and is reminding people Jeremy is a felon, allegedly caught with a gun, and he spent nine years in prison for grand theft. Well, it's a mugshot, so... And away from the computer and on the streets of Stockton, nobody is going crazy for baby blue eyes. Is he cute? No. So that's a lot of people, not me. <laughs> <laughs> He's too thug for me. I asked Jeremy about that teardrop on the side of his face, and he simply said he's done some things in his past he is not proud of. And that kind of brings up the, the main point of this conversation. We'd never want to glorify or put people like this in the news for reasons like this, but a lot of you are talking about it online. And for those of you who are doing it, we kind of wag the finger of shame at you. We never want to put these people on a pedestal. Dale, Christina. Absolutely not. I, I mean, you know, but I am kind of curious. I mean, you told him what was happening. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say recidivism is so high among um, ex-convicts, but I mean, I don't know, maybe it'll motivate him to do something other with his life. He promised me that he was setting his life back on track, that he's got a wife and a son now, and he's never going to go back into gang life again. So at this point, all we can do is cross our fingers and see what happens. You know, and you never know who's seeing the story. Maybe somebody out there, a photographer, a company, will give him a shot at doing a little male modeling. There you go. He's got a career in front of him, right? Make some legitimate yeah. work. All right. Fucking bullshit! Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy SBX and this video topic that I'm going to discuss is Jeremy Meeks and why a lot of thirsty assholes are in love and, and, and fantasize this type of dude. Now, that, that clip we just saw here 
just represents how stupid and deranged how women have that type of affection with a dude like Jeremy Mix. Now, I'm not going to go there about, you know, being envious and jealous about this dude. No, 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 no. Now, I'm just getting on the fact that women tend to make it a big fucking deal how, you know, they go for a guy who is a fucking prisoner. And it's fucking demonic how women behave like this and posting stupid ass comments and saying that, oh, I don't mind him robbing me. I don't mind him doing all this bad stuff to me. It's like you really ask for him to be, you know, to slaughter you and, and treat you like, you know, the rest of the victims if he was free from jail. But, I mean, this this guy, this guy seemed like he done a, uh, uh, is, is doing a bit or something i don't know his his status but i know in, in fact that he's he's in he was he was in jail and he's he was locked up for murdering somebody but all i know is that i just hate that women like this on the videos are are going after and fantasizing a guy like that you know at that time certain men were feeling for you know casey anthony but my opinion is she's not even all that good looking to begin with I would say that, you know, a lot of people in this day and age glorified, idolized thugs and gangsters and criminals and all that other shit, like 50 Cent said on amb uh, Ambition of a Hustler, you know, America idolized and loved gangsters, which is fucking true, because nothing, nothing about this life is positive, and everything that you see on the rap videos and comedy movies and action movies, and there's nothing but gangster ambition and gangster lifestyle i'm not saying all of it but it, it, it's 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 becoming like that in a way you know everybody want to be tupac everybody want to be fucking don colion everybody want to be tony montana everybody want to be fucking nino brown that other bullshit you know because it's like it's a fantasy world that you know everybody wants to dwell with and feel like i want to be that type of guy but anyways that's going to be the next topic soon but I just hate the fact that women just like this type of guy. I hate while well, they can't be devoted to a good guy, but they can be damn straight good, devoted to a low life, an ex-convict or a convict guy who don't give a shit about you and just collecting you like old shoes and and shit like that, you know. And it's sad, but it's fucking true because they, in a woman's mind, they like to be like to be a guy who is self-centered and egotistical just like them and and that mindset that represents being confident you know and it's that's that's what some women will say that that good men are lacking on is confidence which is fucking bullshit but okay <laughs> it's stupid how women go chase after shit like this very fucking stupid indeed. Uh, it, this is this is this is this is I can't I can't I can't say no more about this right here. I just can't. It, it's fucking cute to them to be with somebody who been to jail numerous times, and it's appealing to them. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. This is, this is why society is fucked up because nobody knows no good anymore nobody knows what's good and what's bad they just pick any old fucking thing and make them feel good it's, it's the truth I mean Jeremy makes us like the new pretty boy Floyd of this gen this generation but difference is difference between pretty boy Floyd and Jeremy Mix is Jeremy Mix already done the crime and he's already locked in captivity pretty boy Floyd can go out the streets and be all G'd up and fucking rob banks here and there. And, you know, he could be either caught or not caught. It's just how the game is. That's a true fucking criminal right there. Jeremy Mays is already being locked up. He's just a degenerate generation of what criminals are. They just He's just a guy who's already in captivity paying for fucking paying his time in jail and it's up to him to change his life or not but uh on that on that interview he seemed like he 
he learned his lesson and he wanted to do better, but I can't take his word from it because, you know, not that I said criminals are manipulative and and you can't say anything or trust anything that they say or know what they're saying. But I cannot stress nothing more about this here. It's, it's fucking stupid. And women like this will never understand the essence of a good man until she gets slapped, beat up, treated like shit and leave and be left around the corner with nothing at all. So it's just crazy. But that's that's what this this is this is crazy. Women I'm I'm just saying that women look at Jeremy Meeks as the bad boy's sex symbol. He, this is this is what he is. He's a sex symbol of bad boys because he has those tattoos around his neck. He has the the skin. He's light skin, and he has blue eyes. That's something that certain women will find that attractive, attractive and exotic. Now it used to be Chris Brown, but now it's this guy. So. It's the reality of it, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, people, let me know what y'all think. Put a post a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. XBS wrapping this shit up. Thanks for watching. Peace out.